Searching Souls is a complex work where I have created a kind of column for two figures. The first challenge was to find the right block of marble with subtle veining and the direction of the veins clear enough to push the figures upwards. For me, the simplicity of the base was important so that I could create an anchor for the rising forms. Working the double figure is an element that often appears in my work because I'm fascinated by the subtleties of this duality and how they are connected. It's the male and female figure in which the softness of the female and the strength of the male are repeated elements. It's not they trying to find their souls, but I trying to find the souls of both figures in the soul of a stone. My name is Eppe de Haan. I'm a Dutch sculptor working and living in Italy in Pietra Santa. I started as a painter and the themes didn't change. I work figurative. I'm working the nude figure basically and also face fragments. And in my paintings I had the same themes and was also dealing with a lot of portraits in commissions. But it became a dead end for me. I needed another challenge. And somebody gave me a brochure in, <coughs> in The Hague of a course here in Italy to work with marble, to try to work with marble. And the theme was torso. So I went, and that was 94, exactly 20 years ago. And it became sort of a total new life. Marmor fascinated me. I love the slowliness of it. I love the material in all its aspects, and especially marble that had a beautiful venatura, veins through it. The combination maybe of having been a painter, reflected by the lines in the stone itself. This is the latest work I made for the exhibition in Holland. And you see ty typical elements, how I use the figure in combination with the stone. Here the figure goes in the stone and the top part gets out of the stone. It has a beautiful colouring here, what I want to have sort of in the drapery, not touching the figure, but these elements in the figure really help to see the figure at its best. The back has the same sort of coloration. And the strange thing is, I have a little book where I write my dreams in. And when I was working this stone, I saw a lot of elements that I wrote down in my little dream, deck, dream book. And here you see a bird, a fish and a tiger. And it really was a strange encounter of dreams in the stone. This is one of my most recent work. It has its own history because every morning I was coming in Studio Sam there was a triangular stone that had its own appearance, its own soul and I got fascinated by it but I didn't have an idea what I could do with it. But the stone got a kind of attitude so every morning it said do something with me. And why did it fascinate me? It has already a structure in itself a language. You see here the drilling holes for splitting marble and it had a beautiful venatura, beautiful veins on the front. <clears throat> so I studied it in depth and I thought I can use those two contrasts. And this beautiful surface with the drill holes 
reflects the the rumor and the sound of the quarries and therefore I, I thought about using a contrast to make it work even stronger and here you see basically the intervention of the artist and the way inside so the contrast are the rumor and the silence and the title of this piece is resonance and that reflects perfectly the idea and the story. Pietra Santa for me is an extremely important place to be, not only because it's a wonderful city, but it has also excellent foundries and you can find it the most beautiful marble. Working in Studio Sem is for me very enjoyable. I work here now already 14 years. It's a studio where a lot of international artists work, so you can work side by side. And the artisans are having an excellent expertise. So working here eight months a year is like a dream comes true.